everybody my name is Cindy September is here so it's time for me to say see you next year to August that means I'm gonna be doing my August wrap-up today awesome August I called it was well, truly awesome because I got to read 10 books that's right that is my record I got out of this minor reading slump that I was in for the last two months. So let's go ahead and talk about the books I read. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child Part 1 and 2 by J.K. Rowling, Jack Thorne, and John Tiffany. I did a review video for this book. I will link this below and below. <laughs> I will link this up there and below for you to check out if you want a full in-depth review of this book. This is the eighth book to the Harry Potter series. It is written in script formatted. The storyline is very fast paced. There is not much of a very deep character development but it is there. I liked it because the whole gang is there. Harry, Ron, Hermione, Ginny, and not to mention Draco is there. So that's the perk of it. I gave Harry Potter and the Cursed Child 5 out of 5 stars. I absolutely loved it and I placed it on my favorite shelf. Outlander by Dana Galbadon. If you recall, I was buddy reading this book with Brad and I finally got to finishing it and let me just say what the heck did I read this is not a new adult or young adult book this is purely adult book because of the theme that was mentioned in this book I finally got to understand why people are crazy about it I think it's, it's a good starter for this series it took me a little longer to really get used to the story. I wasn't immediately wowed by this book in the first chapter like most people are. The story just grew on me. Yeah, I'm. Uh, this book still haunts me because so much was going on, especially that one particular scene that I did not expect the author to go into detail about. You will know what scene I am talking about. So this book is not really for younger readers because it will probably kind of scar you a little bit in some ways. I gave um, Outlander 4 out of 5 stars. I thought it was really good. There was really good plot development. The author got you guessing and there was a diverse character development in this book. After Outlander, I was a little burnt out with the whole historical kind of book. So I end up picking up Royal by Winter Renshaw. This was actually a free book I got on Kindle. It was a nice refreshing book to read about a girl who falls in love with her best friend brother or her brother's best friend. I think it's brother best friend actually. <laughs> I, I kind of like that cliche because there's something about that cliche. I gave Royal 3 out of 5 stars. It was a good read. Next up, I picked up another Kindle book that was free on Kindle. Trust, Honor, Love by J.M. Watts. I thought it was an okay reading. It had a unique theme of the whole Lucy signing up for a program that matches her up, her up with a significant other for her better than her be on these lousy dates with these guys who don't much attract her at all and it just happens that set her up with Heath who she has a love-hate relationship with their relationship is very unique the, the problem I had with their relationship was that from the very beginning it was chaotic I didn't understand why she was with him and why he was with her, I get there's something there. It's just that it seems like she was doing too much and he was doing too little. It was like she was doing the 
the 90% and he was doing the 10% for the relationship. He wasn't willing to fight for her and it got in my nerve because if you really love someone, you should really fight for them rather than them fight for you and getting nothing in return back. So I gave honor, trust, honor, love a 2 out of 5 stars. It was an okay reading, not something I would recommend, but it's something different. This next book, you would probably have heard of it already because it is very hyped up in the book community right now and it just happened to get released in August as well. It ends with us by Colleen Hoover. I did a review video for this book so I will link it up there and below for you guys to watch if you want an in-depth thought about this book. It, oh my goodness you guys, this book is amazing, amazing. This would probably be one of Colleen Hoover's best work yet. It's very personal, there is a lot going on and I just love it. The relationship and she really makes you think the definition of love. What is love? That is why I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars. I absolutely loved it and I placed it on my favorite shelf. Before We Were Strangers by Renee Carlino. Another book I did a review video for it. I will link that up there and below for you guys to actually check out. I had a fun time reading this book. It was similar to this book where I was pulling my hair out and I was kind of screaming at the character because they were doing stuff that I didn't want them to do. This story was very touching and it got me cry a little bit. Oh my god. Oh my god. So both of these books actually got me to cry my little eyes out. This book more likely made me cry my eyes out more actually. I gave Before We Were Stranger 4 out of 5 stars. After reading these kind of heartbreaking new adult books, I picked up a very light-hearted historical romance that was actually a novella. It was The Beauty and the Blacksmith by Tessa Dare. I have read a lot of her school romance and it was cliche to even read a book where a beautiful girl falls in love with a nobleman or a gentleman or a rake or a scoundrel, you name it. It got a little bit cliche and when this title came along, ooh a blacksmith, that is something different. She's not falling in love with just a guy, a blacksmith, oh my goodness, scandalous. So I picked that up, it was a fun read fast-paced romance and storyline. I get why it's fast-paced because this novella, the author has to create problems and solve problems in the next two pages. So I didn't have a problem with it. I gave The Beauty and the Blacksmith 3 out of 5 stars. It was a fun read, very lighthearted, fun romance. I finally got around to finish reading the Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson. Woo! You guys, high five. I did it. I started this book, I believe, in June or May, and I finally got around to finishing it. I'm so happy. So this book is so much better than the first book. In this book, there's no longer the whole question, who is the assassin and who is the... Prince. You know who they are. The only question you still kind of have lingering in your mind is that who is Aaliyah is going to fall for. And thank goodness she doesn't take a while to actually tell the reader who she is in love with. It's pretty obvious in the next couple chapters. You know who's, who's going to be endgame. And it's Wrath, obviously. Spoiler alert to those of you who are on Kaden team. I feel very bad for Kaden, especially him, because you get to know a little bit more about him in this book. You are in his hometown where he lives and where he grew up, and readers got to know a little bit about his past. 
I like him, but I don't like him to the point where I can see him getting shipped with Lilia. As to what I thought about the storyline, it was very well developed. There were plots here and there, and I didn't know what was going to happen next. There is a lot of world building since the author introduced you to a new kingdom. We get introduced to a new villain of this universe, Komizar. He is very dark and he always has something up his sleeves. He does something with a reason. There is a reason for everything that he does. He reminds me a little bit of the Darkling from the Grisha trilogy. They both are guys or men who want greatness and feel that they need more greatness even though there is a limit to everything. I gave the uh, Heart of Betrayal 4.5 out of 5 stars. It was a great reading and yes I ordered, I went on ahead and ordered the Beauty of Darkness. I am going to get that in the mail tomorrow. Yay! The Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. I have heard numerous rave and hype about this book on booktube and in Goodreads. People are asking, have you read the Vampire Academy? And I'm like, no! The last vampire book I read was probably the Twilight series and I thought that was okay. The first book to this book was a little bit too much high school drama for me. And I'm way past the whole high school drama thing. There are books that really pull out the high school drama with without bringing the drama to you. This one, there's actually like high school drama with the whole enemy, revenge, fighting for boys, and teenage heartbreak at the same time. But I, I didn't feel like it was really up my alley. I didn't feel very like amazed by this book that everybody said it is. Maybe because it's the first book and it's not as good as the other books in the series. Who knows? I'm willing to read the other book, but I'm not yet. I gave The Vampire Academy 3 out of 5 stars. It was a good read, but it wasn't that wow factor that I was looking for. The Girl on the Train by Pauline Hawkins. I was in the mood for a mystery novel and this was what came up. By the way, this book is going to be made into a movie and the movie is coming out up in October, I believe. There are about three point of views in this book. There's Rachel, Megan, and Anna. You would think the multiple POVs will confuse you and make you lose sense of the story and the plot. It does not. This book is amazing because of the multiple POVs. This author surely knows how to create a suspenseful atmosphere. When I read the book, I felt as though something was going to happen. I was waiting for the unexpected. Seriously, I got guessing and my guesses were wrong and I kept on guessing until the very end where I didn't think it would ever happen. She totally got that wow factor. A true thriller. No wonder it has a movie coming out and no wonder it's highly praised by so many people. So if you're looking for a really good mystery novel, go on ahead and read this book. It's worth the hype. I gave The Girl on the Train 5 out of 5 stars. It was awesome. 10 books this month. Ah! So that's it guys. Have you read any of the books that I read in August? If you have, then go ahead and let's talk about it. I want to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for upcoming videos and I will see you soon guys. Bye!